Alrighty, let's go ahead and mute my phone and tell those um, people that might text me that I'm going live right now. <laughs> so they don't. So happy Wednesday, guys. I think it's live. Yeah, it's live. Okay, how are you guys doing? going to go ahead and get uh, back to my YouTube channel so I can see any comments. Happy Wednesday. Got my chapstick on my glass. Cheers to y'all. Hey, Deb, how are you doing? I'm going to get this out of the way because that was what I used yesterday. Because... Let's be real, the room's a wreck. One day, I'm going to get my act together, but not this day. <laughs> not this day. Are you still working on your project, Deb? Okay, so I have this picture of um, our family and my husband's oldest brother's family. Uh, we went out for Mexican um, when we were in Florida for my husband's father's funeral. And I'm telling the story about these margaritas in front of Alex and I. So we ordered a margarita and they brought it out. And we had asked for on the rocks and they brought it out frozen. So they let us keep the frozen margarita and they brought us an on the rocks margarita. So that is going to be the story of this one. Let me, um, let me get, there we go. Okay, so that is what I'm scrapbooking. It's gonna be this photo. I've pulled out some things, some older products, some newer product, of course, some of MK stuff. And I think this is gonna be one of those times where I mat everything in um, the memory bears is what I was, I was talking about. You're in, starting a new troop for Girl Scouts. <laughs> Deb, you are so busy. Choir and bevel started again in church. You are you are just full of all kinds of stuff going on. That's going on there too, because I find I think this is gonna be hilarious. Okay. So like I said, this is gonna be one of those layouts where I mat things in black. Every once in a while, I do this just because. I think it looks pretty good, right? Like it's it's definitely um, gives you a pop, and I like that. Okay, so true confession time here, guys. I bought a new trimmer for the shop. It's not a guillotine trimmer. It's a Fiskars trimmer, and it lives with the shop stuff. And I haven't used it yet, and I want to bring it up here and use it so bad. for no other reason than it's a new trimmer. And I want to use it. I still have the alcohol ink in my fingernail, so I'm so sorry if that disturbs people to see um, dirty fingernails on camera, but it is alcohol ink. It is the alcohol ink that is right here. So there it is. All right, so we had a fun day at work today. We had a power surge and half of our drive through went down, but that was fun because, you know, stuff happens. Okay, I'm drinking a, a cheap per wine today. Um, I feel like I probably should have poured a good glass of wine, but, you know, that's, that's where we are right now. Okay, so here's the photo. I'm gonna mat it on black. And I will say guys that I, um, oh, what was I gonna say? I totally just lost what I was gonna say. That quick, it's out of my mind. I also lost my photo, there it is. Okay. So, It's 
gone. It is completely gone. All right. There we go. Yay, alcohol inks are fun. Yes. Um, I want, you know, sometimes I like doing alcohol inks because you can have a quick play with them and you can make something amazing in like five minutes. And then I like playing with alcohol inks where you're like deliberately placing and figuring out where you want your like movement to be. That's fun too, but that's more of a, I got a couple hours to kill and I just want to mess around with some fun art products. Okay. So, talk to me. How are you, are, is anyone playing along with Scrap Timber? Um, I am definitely going to be uh, hosting a uh, Thankful Thursdays um, in November. And I'm toying with the idea of starting it in October. Um, just so I can have five weeks. Cause I don't think there are, um, I don't think that there are five Thursdays. One, two, there are five Thursdays. I must, yes. Okay, never mind. We're not starting in October. Um, so I'm gonna post that in the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group and also one of the YouTube Hop groups um, this week. Uh, so that's gonna be happening. Um, today's Scrap Timber prompt is fussy cutting and I don't wanna fussy cut today. Uh, so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, and then 30 days of sketches with Christy happens in October and then we'll have thankful Thursdays and then it's going to be December project time. Like the year is, is flying. Hey Paula, how are those babies? Um, the year is flying by you guys. Like I am just in kind of shock with how, uh, You might be on board for Thankful Thursdays. I love it. Um, and then January is kind of like a slow month. I'll just do whatever. I need to bring back making with the manufacturers because I still haven't made it through all of my manufacturers and it's definitely been over a year and that's pathetic. Um, Follow Sketch Friday is going to come back in January. Uh, follow sketch February will be in February and that's like the lead-in for 30 days of sketches again I don't remember I don't know I think I started follow sketch February before Christy started 30 days of sketches or maybe I didn't know Christy when I started follow sketch February I don't know but it's all blurring together I actually was scrolling my Instagram earlier today and I went way way back into Instagram um, because there was a particular layout that I thought I had scrapbooked a certain way. I thought it was like a full center um, kind of design. And it wasn't a center design at all. But I did find it. So that's good. Okay. Yay! Oh, kindergarten is such a fun time. 14 months. Paula, I cannot believe... That they are 14 months old well welcome i'm glad that you caught a live too um i'm just gonna be very honest lives are um definitely me running my mouth an awful lot so <laughs> if you hate the sound of my voice <laughs> or um it just you don't want to hear chattiness then uh, probably not the place for you. You know what I mean? This, this is screaming Disney right now to me with just, with just the colors. Okay, let's go ahead and make this 10 inches. Cause this is going to be my, my kind of base on my base. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. I lost my black paper already. There we go. So like I said, I'm going to mat everything in, ooh, everything in black. Just to give me that little extra that I like to do sometimes. 
I don't feel like you get the same level of pop when you mat everything in white as you do when you mat everything in black. That might just be me. Okay, so let's let's talk about, oh, oh, look at this. Your youngest is 23. Paul, or Paula, mm. Deb, my youngest just turned 21. And I don't have any grandchildren yet. You don't know what you're going to watch while you wash dishes. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm glad I can help you with your chores. <laughs> yeah, I would love pajama and stuffed animal day. I think everybody deserves. Man, I haven't had a jammy day in such a long time. We used to have jammy days with the, the thoughts are just pouring out of my head and it is pouring outside. My word. Um, we used to have jammy days with the kids and they were always such special days. Like it was just fun. A lot of the times we got up and showered and put on, on clean, fresh pajamas, but you know, sometimes we didn't, but I love jammy days. Okay. I had a thought and I have no idea. Do I want to kind of center it? Maybe I'll put it just, uh, I'll put it there for now. Okay. So we got this one. I've got this paper as well. Um, my phone's acting funky. So I'm going to do that. We'll do that about 11 inches. The question is, I think what I'm going to do is put the blue over the red instead of under it. So I need another piece of paper. This is definitely not the kind of layout you'd probably wanna do if you were like scrimping and saving your paper, which used to be a thing for me back in the day. Speaking of back in the day, I was talking about, I had scrolled Instagram earlier to find a layout that I remembered scrapbooking in a certain way and I did not. Um, but I happened to catch, um, to peek at some of my Chamel photo challenge photos and I shared, I think it's back in 2017, it was like file folders of scraps. I had file folders of scraps and I read the caption cause I was like, how did you deal with this? Cause I hate scraps. And it said that I was, um, that I was only saving my larger scraps and that made me happy. So I eventually got to the point where I save huge scraps and the, all the little scraps go in the trash. Okay, I'm gonna be very transparent and um, honest with you guys right now. I'm gonna, I've got, I've got a piece of, um, I've got basically trash in my, a trash can right next to me. There's, backings and stuff. These are, these are scraps I've thrown away. I don't even keep these anymore. Like a scrap is, is this size these days. And this is bowling paper, but this is a scrap that I, that I would save these, these days. That is probably about as small as I would go. Unless I'm working on a particular project and I want to reuse that paper with the same kind of layouts, then I might save something a little bit smaller. But honest, honestly, that's that's my scrap situation. Oh, book week. That sounds amazing. Oh, Paula, that's going to be so much fun. Look at that, it's like it's kismet. Okay. So I'm using a mix of papers here. And that brings me great, great joy. Speaking of mixing papers, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I posted in the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group, I was uh, fulfilling a bunch of orders this evening and 
um, someone had ordered some Rosy Studio and some um, 49 and Market, and they together, and I was like, oh, I never even thought about putting these two collections together. And I think it's because I've just about used most of my 49 and Market Spectrum Sherbert. Like, I don't have much of it left. So I don't think it, um, I don't think it resonated with me, but it, it looks good, you guys. Okay. This is definitely larger than I was originally planning in my head. I was thinking more of a smaller cluster of papers, but my paper is kind of taking over the, um, the situation. Okay. How awesome to get your first haircut at the Harmony Barbershop. I'm not going to lie, but I stopped the Harmony Barbershop um, reservation system before I went on my, my last trip, which was my hooray, I quit Hobby Lobby and, and starting at Starbucks Disney trip that Christopher sent me on. Um, and I never got a reservation because I was going to get my hair cut there. I was gonna change my entire plan, my entire like dinner, dining reservation stuff around it if I got it, but I wasn't lucky enough to get it. All right, so is anyone else particularly sad? You know what, I am gonna fussy cut you guys. I'm gonna fussy cut. Is anyone else particularly sad that summer is coming to an end? Okay, I'm gonna fussy cut this. It's actually a rainbow border, but I'm gonna fussy cut it and turn it into a humper border. Just need my scissors. So I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I love warm weather. I hate being cold. It stresses me out i there are a couple things that i hate okay and being cold is one of them i mean even when we lived in california of course we had the air conditioner on but you know it was a hundred and some degrees outside and i was wearing sweats and slippers on the inside because i hate being cold i used to and i don't it actually happened the other day this is why i'm bringing it up I used to get so cold, like my body was cold. I would like cool down to the touch. I would be wearing like four pairs of socks. I'd have um, like double sweats on. I'd get under the covers at night. I'd use the, you know, we'd have flannel sheets on the bed. I'd have a comforter on the bed and then like every single blanket and afghan in the house was on top of me and I would be freezing. And I don't know what changed or anything like that, but it hasn't happened in years. Um, at the other day, I got that cold again, and I was like, what is going on with me? That was back when I was certain I had thyroid issues, and I still wonder sometimes, but all my blood work comes back, you know, normal. So what are you, what are you going to do when all your blood work comes back normal? And the, um, the doctor's like, nothing's wrong with you, psychopath. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut that down. And I did not cut it straight, so I'm going to cut it with my scissors. You know what, guys, there hasn't been something, um, I'm not talking about collections and stuff. Um, you're excited that Texas temps are back in the 90s. I would love some 90s temps. We barely got any of those here. And it's strange because I went from Maryland weather to um, California weather. Do I want it to go that far? I do. I'll cut it here. Um, and now I'm in Washington weather, and I'm not gonna lie, I miss California weather. I don't miss living in California. 
and Washington is starting to head the same way as California. But, um, I do miss the weather. All right, I'm going to fussy cut this too because since everything is having a black border, I feel like this is going to have a black border or it's going to feel weird because just when I put it down there without the border, it felt weird. Okay, I'm going to get that going. So... Christopher is at a work conference right now and you know they have to wear lanyards and um, he was wearing it and I was like show me your lanyard so he pulls up like, like his little name badge and he shows me and it flips over and I was like what does that say and he's got a tag on his lanyard that says beef and I was like did you miss me <laughs> um, and because uh, if you don't know, I go by the handle Steak Goddess, which you, you should know because that's what my YouTube channel is called. But he was like, no, that's how you choose what meal you want. You you picked your tag. And I was like, oh, I thought, you know, you, you were missing me hard and you started to call yourself beef or something. Oh, goodness. Anyway, I found that hilarious. Who knows if anyone else finds it hilarious, but I did. Okay, so now I got that humper border, which is basic. It's just the rainbows. So I think this needs something. And when I say something, I usually mean tool. And I can't. Do I have my tool? There it is. Okay. You know, I find that, um, I wouldn't believe that either, Deb. I find that those northern states, uh, get pretty, pretty flipping cold. I went on a college trip once to, um, Wisconsin, and my hair froze when I walked out of the, the dorm. Because, you know, nobody told me that it would actually freeze. And the girls that I was staying in their room uh, were kind of jerks, really. And um, wouldn't let me use their blow dryer. Because I didn't pack a blow dryer. Because, you know, I was, what, a 16, 17-year-old kid? And only had one suitcase and so much room and a blow dryer wasn't fitting in there. <laughs> I'm glad you found it hilarious, Deb. Hey, Kristen. How have you been? I feel like I haven't, like, talked to you, quotes, air quotes, in ages. So I'm going to put that there. Probably should have stapled this sucker on there, but okay. Let's talk. Let's talk Halloween for a second. Is anyone doing anything for Halloween? Like, is anybody doing um, an October daily or? Um, do you guys go all out for Halloween? So Halloween was never a big holiday for us. And I don't know if I've ever shared this story before, but Christopher comes from a very, very conservative family. Like, super conservative. They didn't even have a Christmas tree. Um, which you guys know I have like 11, so that didn't uh, stick with him, huh? But, um, anyway, Halloween was never a big thing for, uh, us with, um, when we were dating or anything like that. And he was like, he, he didn't like Halloween and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, like whatever. I was like, but I'm getting Christmas trees. And he was like, okay, I don't have a problem with that. Like, I don't see anything wrong with Christmas tree. 
And one year for Halloween, I ended up having my sister over. And my sister is 14 years younger than I am. So obviously, you know, I'm 19, I think, at the time with Alex as a kid, as, as a baby. And I'm like, I'm taking Sam trick-or-treating. That's all there is to it. So I've dressed Alex up. He was a little baby and put him in a green top and pants and a uh, jack-o'-lantern bib and sent Christopher pictures and he just melted and then we did Halloween every year after that. Um. <laughs> Your hair froze all the time, Paula. That's hilarious. It was, I was like afraid that it was going to break. Like it was, uh, so my hair is long now. It like touches the edge of my butt. But when I was that age, it was past my butt. I had long hair, you guys. And I, it was like a sheet of ice. And I was so afraid it was going to break off. So I, I would just, I would just sit there and, and would turn my whole body. So, cause I was afraid my hair was going to break off. Yeah, I, I, I always dressed up and had a good time. And, um, but, um, I've lost what I was doing. I had a, I had a plan and I run my mouth so much that I forgot what the plan was. And now I just went silent. That wasn't cute, huh? Okay. I kind of want it to use this Choose Happy because this kind of looks like a margarita glass. And I want it to put, or um, at least a, some sort of liquor glass. So I always did super themed Halloween things with the kids. Okay, so they were bacon and eggs one year. The girls were eggs and Alex was bacon. Alex was Pac-Man and the girls were ghosties. They were Oompa Loompas one year. They were the cat in the hat and thing one and thing two one year. Like they were a chain gang one year where they were chained together. Um, they were three blind mice one year, complete with dark sunglasses and a cane. Like, it was themed Halloween costume were my thing. Um, and I'm not, I'm not sure how big trick-or-treating is here. Like, I'm like, how much candy do I need to buy? Can I put it in a bowl and stick it outside like we did in California? I don't know. Oh, that one's going to cover up the pee, so that one can't go there. Maybe this one, choose happy, and that covers up the happy. What do I do, guys? Do I just go for it and let it cover up the... <laughs> choose without the E. Maybe I should put it like this instead of um, instead of covering it up because these are a little bit big for what I want. Oh, Mario Kart, you should totally be one of the shells. A pink Power Ranger, that's awesome. Yeah, I did a lot of the sewing on on those costumes. The only costumes I don't that I mentioned that I don't think I actually sewed myself. They were also um, the Big Bad Wolf, Red Riding Hood, and the uh, the Huntsman too. Um, but
but the chain gang was like the only one I didn't sew. I made their Oompa Loompa costumes. I made like, and like the old Oompa Loompa. This was way before the Johnny Depp Oompa Loompa. Okay. I do have to say I'm a little bit upset with my sewing machine because I can't get my bobbin to do what it's supposed to be doing right now. And that makes me mad. Okay, so we're going to put the choose happy here. And then I'll put a little margarita glass there. This is a margarita glass, I think. It's got an umbrella. I didn't, um, we didn't get umbrellas in our drinks, but I think it's going to be fine. So, speaking of umbrellas in the drinks, my grandmother has a wooden bar thing. And it didn't have alcohol in it, but it did have, um, fancy toothpicks and fancy umbrellas and she would be like sandy go to the bar and that meant i could go pick out something fancy to put in my drink okay that's awesome tracy your youngest made a gandalf costume <laughs> that's awesome ah alex was a jeep one year out of a cardboard box and I think I've scrapbooked it. I know I've scrapbooked it, but he actually went into the parking lot next to my Jeep Liberty at the time and like sat down and he looked like he was, um... that was the one year we didn't do themes. He was a Jeep and the girls were bunnies. So anyway, it's, it's all good, right? It's always fun. Grandmas are special. My, my mom, mom is a pretty freaking awesome woman. My, my mother and my husband's mother, not so much. Not so much. Okay, I think I'm going to back this. My grandmother actually sent um, me some mail today where she thought we would want to see a card that Alex had made for my grandfather. These are their great grandparents. Um, and it was just full of stickers and stuff. It was adorable. You know, I never want to be the kind of mother-in-law that either of our, either of our mothers are like, I, oh, I, just, I cut it too, I cut it too, um, too short. There. I never want to be that kind of mother-in-law because that's horrible. So if you've ever had the privilege of having an awesome mother-in-law, like God bless your soul because Neither Christopher or I have had that. Okay. <laughs> Deb! <laughs> I feel you, okay? And both of our moms are named, have the same name, okay? So, yeah, I feel you. Okay, we're going to put Margarita Love here. I don't know what I'm going to do when 
when I lose my grandmother. She's my only, she's my only grandparent that's alive is my mom. I've lost all my other ones. I lost my dad. Christopher lost his dad. And our moms are psychopaths, so. So, yeah. Marguerite. Margarita. Is that how you spell margarita? It looks weird. Maybe it's because it's so many different colors, but it looks weird to me. Oh, yeah, it fits. Well, just barely. Well, if I, if I edged everything over... It would fit on top of there. So we're gonna edge everything over because those couple little millimeters matter. Probably shouldn't be talking smack about our mothers just in case. <laughs> Just in case somebody is watching that isn't like talking, because there's a lot more people watching than are talking. So <laughs> probably should uh shush. <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> it just sucks, right? It just sucks. Okay, I'm putting that there. I know that girl you got this doesn't make a lot of sense to you guys, but if if I was talking to Alex and if I would have when they brought us those margaritas and he looked at me and I looked at him, if I would have said girl you got this to him, he would have laughed his hiney off. So, it's it's fine. Like it's not I'm not disparaging him or anything like that in any way, just in case that was going through anyone's mind, which I don't think it was, but it, I guess I'm just trying to kind of explain things. All right. Does that make sense? Yes. Well, see, we, we decided that we weren't going to deal with that holiday nonsense anymore. Um, that's when we started, we started doing Thanksgiving on our own and having steak and lobster because we just couldn't, we just couldn't, do, wow, this is a heavy page. We just couldn't deal with going from house to house to house to house because we had, in the beginning of our marriage, like I said, many of our family members are gone now, but we had my mom and pop's house. We had my mom's house. We had my dad's house. We had my dad's mother's house. Um, we had... Christopher's parents house like it was just it was all of these we had um my mother's husband's family's house there was just so many and we were just driving from place to place to place to place and we weren't having any fun we weren't enjoying it it was such a pain in the butt that we were like no we're not doing this anymore so yeah it just Do I want to put this gold up here too? I kind of just want to get rid of this. Like, do I say choose happy today? Yeah, we might as well. You know what? We might as well. We're talking about freaking margaritas here. So I'm not. Okay. So it's going to say choose happy today. I don't. I'm. <laughs> okay. I haven't even finished my wine and I'm showing my phone the layout because I'm looking over at my phone to talk to you guys. So you know what? This is going in the bin. I'm not using a hashtag. I'm not using a pound signed. Um, when hashtags came out, I was like, what the heck is pound sign? Blah, 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 blah. But anyway, nobody's, nobody's saving that either. Okay. Something needs to go here because this is feeling very naked. Um, I don't like that there either, actually. So I'm going to pull that up. 
Um, let's see. We could probably put so much fun there. Oh, it needs it needs to be um, it needs to be matted in black though because everything needs to be matted in black right now. put that there. So much fun. So it doesn't just look like upside down rainbows anymore. It actually looks like a humper border. And this was in the trash and I pulled it back out. So there, there we are. Um, okay. So something has to go here. You guys, this is, this is a very naked spot and I don't, I don't like it. I just don't know what to put there. That's definitely going there because that's adorable. And look at the little wine glass in here. I need to do a, a layout about Winey Wednesday, I think. Okay, so that's gonna go there because like I said, that's adorable. But I don't know what to put there. What do you guys think? What do you think should go there? Something, maybe, maybe a tag? Use it up. Thanks, Deb. I appreciate it. I'm being smothered in love by your cat. I would be, if if I had a cat smothering me in love right now, I would be not being able to breathe. Because cats just, I am so allergic to cats. And I don't, um... Maybe, maybe it wouldn't affect me so much. Well, probably not because the medicine I'm taking right now is kind of for outside allergies. But when I was a child, my allergies used to be like ridiculous. I would take allergy shots three times a week. Um, I remember we had a little uh, a rectangle styrofoam thing and you'd open it up and it, it would have, it had multiple vials because some of the vials I took all three days, some of the vials I took two days, some of the vials I took one day. And, um, my mom would give me allergy shots, um, three times a week. I think it was three times a week. And I also used to have to take a, um, a pill that was clear and green, like a capsule, and you could open it up and it had white and pink little, little teeny dots and I think it was something like chlorpheniramine mind malleate or something like that and she would open it up and because uh, it was a pretty big pill for as young as I would she would open it up and putting on pudding and I would I would eat it that way so my mom wasn't always horrible I guess is the point of that okay Something's got to go here. Let me see what kind of tag situation I have. Because I'm sure Chloe is hungry. Because um, her and I are going to... Ooh, I've got a couple black, black stars left, so we'll use those up. Where are my tags? go there so um yeah don't really have any that go there okay so that one's gonna go there that one's gonna go there put that one there and that one there and that one there but I, I need something there guys I'm crazy Crazy, crazy, crazy. I, this tag would be perfect, but it says hello sunshine. Do I really want hello sunshine? You are only allergic to mushrooms that bad in mold. Fun fact, I am allergic 
to every single... Oh, I need to put some journaling there. That's what we need to do, because I need to tell the story about the margaritas. Um, so yeah, fun fact, I am allergic to every single tree in the state of Maryland. And I am certain <laughs> that Washington State has some of the same trees because I moved here, or we moved here, and my allergies have been redonkulous. And I do mean redonkulous. Okay, that's a little bit larger than I want it. So let's go ahead and trim that down. And we'll put that there. We're gonna give that a little bit of a black background as well. Did you ever, I did, Paula, I did find it. Um, so it, I just pulled it out of the same place I, I found it. So I have my desk, my surface is a dining room table, like an old dining room table. And I have a black file cabinet, like right underneath, like I'm hitting it right now. And I had put my musty down this way. So when I looked down, this black foam on the back kind of matched up with that black filing cabinet and I couldn't see it. But if I put it this way, I can put it in between the table and the black filing cabinet and it's fine. Is that where it's supposed to live? No, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay. All right, just a little public service announcement for anyone. If you go to a Starbucks and you go through the drive-thru, Starbucks are timed on their drive-thru scores. So please order everything you want at the window or at the speaker box. Don't come to the window and be like, oh, by the way, can I get a blah, 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 blah? Because it's going to affect our times negatively. So please don't do that. It sucks because um we're sitting there and we're like you know blah 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 and then someone it never fails someone will order a freaking grilled cheese and i'm 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 not going to say don't order a grilled cheese from starbucks because it's actually kind of tasty um but don't sit there and order the grilled cheese and then at the window order it at the speaker box when everything else please because <laughs> It is absolutely devastating when you are crushing a time goal, crushing a time goal and um, in a span of 10 minutes, you have six customers that do that. And I'm not saying six customers ordered grilled cheese. I'm saying six customers ordered at the speaker box. And then once they got to the window, decided they wanted to order a couple extra things. Drives me insane. You don't drink coffee, so you won't be a problem. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. Um, have you seen those commercials for Bachelor in Paradise where she keeps saying fine? Isn't it fine? You know, I don't have regular TV, Joe Beth. I don't have regular TV, so I, I don't see commercials. The only commercials I see are, like, YouTube commercials. Because... On regular TV. We actually stopped doing regular TV um, before it was cool. Like we had, um, yeah, that needs to be mad at too. We had stopped doing cable uh, because it was absolutely ridiculous um, before it was cool to not have cable. We were like, we're such trendsetters. <laughs> But we would, man, would we use that Netflix subscription when, when it was DVDs. Do you guys remember DVDs for Netflix? It was funny. I was at work, and I can't remember what we were talking about. But I was like, are you guys even old enough to remember that? Okay, I'm going to put that like that. Feel like I need some 
more excitement in my life. And when I say excitement in my life, I mean excitement um, excitement on my layout, not my life. My life is pretty exciting and I'm pretty happy. <laughs> so, all right. I think I'm going to journal on here. And then that is where I'm going to call this layout done. I don't think I want to add anything else to it. Well, you know what? I lied. I don't like this. I'm going to change that out. I'm going to add this. And I'm going to put this here. I'm sorry, I just lied to you guys. Like, straight to your face, and then I'm fixing it, but... I'm going to put that there. No, 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 no. I don't like that. Never mind. I didn't lie. I thought that that was going to be a better option, but no, it's not. It's really, really not. Let's tuck this back under there. Maybe this little guy right here. I think I'm going to try that and see what that looks like. You got cable for the first time. That's so exciting. You know, I used to stay with my grandparents a lot, and they never had cable until later. Um, and we used to watch all kinds of things. Like, we watched Golden Girls and Murder, She Wrote, and Nurses, and, like, I had so much fun. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. I don't know if anybody else likes it or whatever, but I'm going to put that there because I like it there. All right, the journaling will go here. I'm not going to journal because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to say, but this is, this is a pretty hefty layout. I am going to leave that there. And I think Chloe and I are going to go get some dinner. Not go get some dinner, but we're going to have some dinner. So yeah, and I just had an epiphany, literally right now, that I have not done mixed media in a hot minute on a Winding Wednesday Live, have I? So maybe we will rectify that next Wednesday. I'm going to put a little thing there because I don't want the tea falling down. Nobody needs a leaning tea. All right, guys. Um, you watch Netflix and when you're joining for regular TV, you go to your mom's for Hallmark. <laughs> okay, not even gonna lie, Netflix has tons of cheesy Christmas movies, okay? I know they do because the girls and I watch them. Um, okay, real quick. I have a thing for stupid, almost trashy reality television. So, uh, Lana and I watched the first season of Love is Blind, uh, years ago before she went off to college and I binge watched Love is Blind season two yesterday off of Netflix because I find it so utterly ridiculous that I just can't stop watching. It's like a train wreck. Okay guys, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I know my stream of consciousness thought was kind of all over the place today. Like just, I don't even, I don't even know what to say about it. So most of the time I do it. If you miss Whiny Wednesday Live in the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group, then you missed a fun time talking about insert here. But I feel like I was like, squirrel. Like I went so many different directions, I don't even know what to tell people. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna leave that. You're stuck on Heartstopper. Trashy reality fun fact, my husband's nephew was on Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> That's awesome. I've never seen Vanderpump Rules. I've never seen any of the Real Housewives. I've never watched the Kardashians. But those stupid reality love shows get me every time. Like, Married at First Sight, Love is Blind, The Circle, or whatever that was where it was like a social media experiment. All that stuff, it sucks me in. And I'm like, you are a smart woman. 
<laughs> you are a <laughs> smart woman and you are watching some trashy TV. But you know what? I don't care. I like writing, I like reading cheap romance novels anyway. Um, okay, we're gonna stop talking about that and I'm gonna sign off. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I have had an utter blast tonight um, with you guys and yeah. So like I said, this week I'm going to be posting in the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group about if anybody wants to join me for Thankful Thursdays. It's not going to be any kind of specific prompt. It's just going to be scrapbook something you're thankful about on a Thursday in November. So I'll have that in the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group this week if you want to sign up and get yourself started with a playlist. And I think that's going to be great. So thanks, guys. <laughs> I love you all so much. I will see you guys around the internet.